What is up mga karadyo? It's your friend on Air 9, Bravo Juliet Mike. So, ayun. So, nagbabalik na naman tayo for another video. Sa video na to, it's not an unboxing, it's not a review, but it's a tutorial. Okay, so, balik na naman tayo sa tutorial natin mga karadyo, no? Sa tutorial na to, I'm gonna be showing you how to change your ANI ID or Anisiation ID, if I'm not mistaken. Yun yung, uh, kumbaga, um... EOT or end of transmission it's pretty much just like a roger beep so para siyang roger beep na pagkatapos mong mag press ng PTT ay may tone or beep na tutunog after your transmission or end of transmission so for this uh, particular video ang ginagamit natin ngayon is yung uh, Baofeng UV82 but This tutorial will work in almost all of the Baofeng radios except for the 888S. So si 888S wala siyang ganun na feature kasi channeling lang yon at UHF yon. Hindi siya dual band. Um pagpasensya niyo na yung ibig kong sabihin is all Baofeng dual band radio. Kahit na anong Baofeng yan basta dual band at may display, pwede mo yung uh, gawin. Explain ko muna sa inyo kung ano yung Anisiation ID or Ani ID. So yon yung Anisation ID, makikita natin niya sa menu 15 sa ating unit itself. Uh, focus natin. Ayun. So, sa Anisation ID ko, meron akong 345. 345. So, paano ka pumili ng ID mo? Uh, can you just put anything you want? Yes, you can. Pero meron siyang limit. I think, 6 eh, digits only. So, yung ginawa ko lang naman is, ano, 345. So, ang tunog niyan is ganito. Diba? Tididit, diba? Diba? Tididit. Yan. So, ano ba yung function ng ANI ID? Sa kagaya ng sinabi ko sa first video ko dati, na, as in, may nagreklamo talaga kasi yung light ko don hindi proper. Kasi nga, ano, baguhan pa lang ako nun. So, ngayon, na uh, meron na tayong proper lighting. Thank you. Ayun. And, um, okay, balik tayo sa topic. What is an ANI ID? Anani ID is uh, uh, identification. Kumbaga, kung meron kang sampung radio sa isang company at isa-isa sa inyo doon ay gumamit ng Ani ID, uh, marerecognize mo kung sino yung may hawak ng radio na yun. Kunwari, um, pag ganito yung tunog, pag ganyan yung tunog, that means na register yan sa isang tao. For example, uh, pag tumunog to, yan, uy, si Juan yung tumunog. So, alam mo na, ba? Diba? So, kung gagawa ka ng kahit na ano, kahit na anong um, ani ID na simple lang na mahir. Kunwari, pag si Juan, tatlong beep. Si Pedro, dalawang beep. Ganon. ba? Diba? So, yun yung ani ID. Kumbaga, para ano lang, ma-recognize. At the same time, ang ituturo ko naman sa inyo ngayon, it's pretty much changing your Roger beep. Pero iba-iba to siya. Kasi, ano, pwedeng tatuhan yung tunog, pwedeng dalawa lang, pwedeng anim, ganon. Kasi si Roger Beep naman is iba. Okay, si Roger Beep naman is isa lang. Hindi natin yan machi-change. Naka-program na talaga yan. Kahit ano pang gawin natin, hindi mo machi-change yung Roger Beep. So, ang ginagawa ko na lang is yung uh, PTT ID or EOT or End of Transmission. Doon ako nag-change ng tone or beep para maging unique yung radio natin sa iba. Di ba? Simple. Uh, normal buffing uh, Roger Beep. And I don't like it. Kasi pag, pag narinig yun ng mga, i ng mga ibang uh, karadyo natin, uh, sasabihin nila talaga, ay, you're using a buffing. Di ba? Parang, pag, na pag narinig nila yung uh, beep na yun, marirecognize nila na yung ginamit mong radyo is buffing. So, ito yung way ko na para naman at least maiba yung uh, end of transmission ko. So, ang kakailanganin natin sa video na to is once again your radio. Of course, your radio na dapat hindi low bat. And last but not the least is a programming cable. 'Yon. Ito ginawa ko rin ginawa ko lang tong ano eh. Kumbaga one bumili ako ng isang uh, programming cable tapos ano, minodify ko na lang para makagamit ako ng multiple types of radio. Kagaya ng uh, WLN or <laughs> ano ba naman 'to, nakaka-mix up na talaga yung utak ko sa sa mga ni-review natin, no. So, kagaya ng ano, um UV9R+, kagaya nito nung ni-review natin last. 
Ito, waterproof type. So, yun. Hindi <laughs> nyo nakita. Ayan, waterproof type yan. Waterproof type. Yes. Sorry for my, um, tawag nito. Sorry for my accent or pronunciation rather. Okay, so, that's all the tools that we needed. And lastly, we need the program called Chirp. So, ayan, bago tayo magsimula, kung bago pa lang kayo sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon para maging updated ka sa aking mga videos na ilalabas. So, ayan, wag na nating patagalin pa. Let's go straight into Chirp and let's open it up. Let's go. So, ayan, pag nandito na tayo sa Chirp, um, just make it sure na uh, na-plug in na natin yung ating USB programming cable. Okay, so pag once na-plug in na natin yung ating cable, i-turn on natin yung ating radio. Okay. Then, ilagay natin sa socket niya or headphone jack niya or sa headphone port niya. Okay. Lagay natin. Okay, there. Then, put that aside muna. Then, here on the computer, we have to go to the radio section, which is on the top left corner. Then, press on download from radio. So, we have to determine which COM port are we at right now. So, pag sinalpak mo na yung programming cable mo, nag-o-automatic na siya kung ano yung nasa last, yun yung COM port mo. So, na kung hindi mo naman mahanap yung COM port mo, ang gagawin mo lang is we have to exit out here. Cancel muna, wait. Punta tayo dito sa ating control panel. Then, when we go to control panel, we go on hardware and sound, devices and printers. Then, we can see that it is on COM4. Okay. So, confirm na siya. So, we have to go back to the Chirp software. Then, once again, go back to radio, download from radio. Then, click on COM4. So, we have Baofeng. Then, we're gonna look for the model that we have, which is the UV82. And just hit OK. And then, your radio will start to blink on red. When it's blinking red, that means it's cloning or copying files off your radio. And when it's blinking green, it means it's writing uh, content on your radio. So, ayun. Andiyan na tayo sa ating frequency. You can have your frequencies whatever you like with the name on it. You can put your name on or whatsoever. So, now, um, gagawin natin is we're gonna go to settings. Right on the left corner. Then, we go on DTMF settings. So, dito tayo mag-change ng PTT ID. Okay? So, we go down the bottom which it, where it says, or, so we go down here, sa baba, na may nakalagay na ANI ID. So, lagay natin dyan, uh, EOT. Then, dito tayo sa alarm code, I mean, ANI code, which is right here, ANI code. Ang ilalagay natin dyan is, uh, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, kung anong gusto mong number na ilalagay. So, sige, try natin uh, maglagay tayo ng mataas-taas na number kung anong tunog. Okay, let's do 0, 4, 14, 20. Yun. Oh, 5 characters lang pala, sorry. Yun. So, 04142. So, yan yung gagamitin nating ANI ID. Okay? So, punta na tayo dito sa memory. Ayun. So, okay na siya. So, punta na tayo sa memories and maglagay tayo ng frequency. Kunwari, maglalagay tayo ng sa 72 natin nilagay. Uh, 445.600 Okay, there you go. Ano ba naman nangyari? Ano ba naman yun? Okay, 445.600 Okay, we can put a name on it like Sample 9 Bravo Juliet Mike Ayun 
Then we put a tone or whatever we like. Pero hindi ko magla- hindi na ako maglalagay ng tone sa ano na to, sa demo na to. So one. 'Yon. So 'yon. Off muna natin tong offset kasi wala tayong repeater ngayon. So 'yon na. Na-type na natin yung frequency, nalagay na natin yung proper name na ilalagay natin or nung gustong name na ilalagay natin. So after that, we have to right click, then we go on properties. Then we go on sambayan. Okay. <laughs> Sorry na. Okay, so we go on other. Then we turn on our on. Then we turn on our end of transmission which is the EOT. Ayun. So let's um hit okay. Once you're done, just write it to the radio which is upload to a radio click on that one then hit okay so your radio starts blinking green when you're uploading the files or the frequencies you programmed on your radio so right there it's blinking that means we're re- we're we're doing it we're doing the right thing so ayun Um, we are done. Tapos na tayo ng, tapos na tayo ng program. Okay, so, balik na tayo sa radio. Ayan, when you have the Baofeng UV-82, uh, wala tayong A, A and B, or, uh, v, VFO mode, or, the channel mode thing. So, hindi mo yun alam, turn off the radio. Long press natin yung menu. Then hit, and then you turn the knob to turn on. And there we are on channel mode. So now we type in 72, channel 72. That's 072. Okay? So as you can see, ando na yung pangalan natin. 9, Bravo, Juliet, Mike. Ayan. So kung, i- kung uh, ipapress natin yung PTT, uh, maririnig natin yung Any ID na in-upload natin kanina. So, let's try that. ba? Diba? So, yun na. So, yun yung any ID na nilagay natin or uh, tawagin na lang siguro natin Roger Beep. Okay, here we go. ba? Diba? Ayun. So, ayun lamang sa ano, sa tutorial na ito. And, sana may natutunan kayo. And, maglagay kayo ng comment down below kung may mga katanungan kayo para ma- ma-answer ko din or masagot ko yung mga katanungan ninyong merong uh, bago pa lang sa inyo dyan. Um, I am willing to help you guys. Once again, this is 9 Bravo Juliet Mike sending my 73s to all monitoring stations. And sa mga karadyo natin dyan, once again, kung bago pa lang kayo sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon para mag updated ka sa aking mga ilalabas na mga videos. Peace!